Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Let me start for today's video. So you can see this is a little different of a setup. Uh, I have almost only done beer reviews or super beer related things on the channel. Uh, it's Tuesday and on Tuesdays I try to test my palate and from the inception, uh, I have always wanted to incorporate non-beer things as well, but that lend itself to me being better at doing beer reviews. So like, um, uh, I want to do spirits, for example, understand them better. So when I do a bourbon barrel aged beer or whiskey barrel or whatever, uh, you know, kind of understand that nuance better. Uh, coffee, obviously, is what I'm doing today, and coffee was another one that I really wanted to do. Uh, I was inspired by Sean at NerdSense. Make sure you check out NerdSense. Uh, he's also the one who gave me this coffee. Uh, so I wanted to do this anyway, but then when I, I had posted a picture when um, he had gifted this one and another one to me, and a few people reached out like, hey, you should review those. So I finished up my former coffee bag, and now I just opened this one. So this uh, actually relates directly to this beer. So this is Dark Matter, is the company who makes the coffee. They partnered up with Goose Island this year. Um, and this is the uh, 14 Stout, which is this, which I'll talk about in a second. So Origin San Geronimo Miramar, which is in Guatemala. Um, and again, they're, what they did is uh, they took the used 14 barrels and uh, dumped the liquid out and put their beans into those barrels. And I have had some uh, bourbon barrel aged coffee beans before, also courtesy of Sean. Uh, he and I are big coffee guys. And um, um, then they put them in these bags and uh, you could buy them. Um, all right, so a little bit about this. So back in 1992, Goose Island changed the beer industry with the introduction of Bourbon County Stout, a beer finished in used bourbon barrels for over a year. In 2013, Dark Matter Coffee began its barrel-aged coffee uh, program using a uh, Bourbon County Stout barrel, a gift from Goose Island. Since then, year after year, both Goose Island and Dark Matter Coffee continue to change the way beer and coffee are appreciated and perceived. This collaboration is more than innovative ideas and enjoying the fruits of our labor. It's a celebration of friendship, dedication to our respective crafts, and the city that we all come, we call, all call home, Chicago. Over the course of 2021, uh, special Bourbon County Stout variant barrels that were freshly emptied in the Goose Island Barrel House were filled with meticulously selected coffees, withdrawing all of the nuances hidden in each stave, then roasted to perfection. Okay, so the coffee beans were not roasted yet when they were put in the barrels. Um, uh, these coffees typically, I'm sorry, typify the untypical, leaving a historical impression on every taste bud. Um, don't want this to overgo. So this is my third time having this coffee. The first time I didn't let it steep long enough. Uh, then yesterday I did it really perfect. And then today I just got home from walking Bruno and put some cinnamon rolls in the oven and came down here to do this. So hopefully by the time I'm done doing this and I clean up and everything, I can finish this cup of coffee with a nice cinnamon roll. Uh, big fan of French press. Uh, there's definitely different ways to make coffee. Uh, but at home, I really like the French press. Uh, I'm pretty much the only person, my, my, my wife hates coffee. Um, my daughters, if there's enough other crap in there, will drink it. But um, yeah, mostly I'm the only one who drinks coffee in this family. Um, anyway, so hence the little one. I do have a bigger one of companies here. Um, just one other thing to read on here. In a world driven by technology and science, we are the... Uh, gravitational resistance rooted in skill and philosophy, an innovative culinary family fueled by community and passion to deliver the most intelli intellectually honest coffee you will experience. Drink coffee, stay high. So this one, the 14, is a stout aged in rye whiskey barrels with cassia bark, which is like uh, cinnamon, uh, cacao nibs, panela, which is a sugar, and coconut water. So um, I'll leave it out. Um, yeah, then eh, whatever being right handed, I feel like I'm going to knock it at some point, but I will just try my best not to do that because that would suck. Um, okay. So, um, there was something else I wanted to say. Oh, well, actually two things I wanted to say before I start getting into the review part of this. So they've obviously, based on what this said, have partnered up before, but 
least to my knowledge, all of the coffee that's ever been in Bourbon County beers has been Intelligentsia, uh, but it looks like they have uh, um, used uh, previous barrels before themselves. So there is a, a, a apparently a, a partnership, a friendship longer than I was thinking. I thought this was very new and was kind of surprised it wasn't Intelligentsia uh, related. And the other thing I wanted to say is I don't know when the beers in the barrel, if they add the adjuncts then, or if they dump the beer out of the barrels into like a big tank and then put the adjuncts in, additional adjuncts, because I guess this barrel is an adjunct. Um, so the reason I bring that up is because I get a little bit of cinnamon in this. And I can get cinnamon out of beer that does not have cinnamon in it. Um, or has been aged like this in bourbon barrels that could, in theory, have had something that will kick out cinnamon. So I d I'm going into that not knowing that information. If you happen to know that information or you can speculate, comment section below, that'd be wonderful. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it's if it's just from the coffee itself, um, the barrel aging, or if the barrel aging really did it because it had that cassia bark before it was emptied. Anyway. Let's get into the aroma. It's so weird you can't see it, but like you could see, that's why I, I did it all on camera with the French press, so you could kind of see the color of it. So, you know, I don't know, 70% of it is, it smells like coffee, right? Like, which makes sense, right? That's the baseline. But yeah, you get that little bit of a sweet cinnamon note, little, um, it's like, it's chocolate, but it's not chocolate chocolate you know it, it's kind of like if i had kind of done a similar process with the french press and uh, ground up uh, freshly because uh, these are whole beans so i just freshly ground them um some like uh, cacao nibs and then did the same kind of process where you put water with them um you, you kind of get like yeah it's chocolatey but it's like um unrefined unrefined unprocessed cacao nib grounds more than like how we think chocolate it's a long way to say that but yeah a little bit of that cinnamon I'm so, I didn't think about that I mean I didn't in, as intensely smell it the other two times I've had this but um a little bit of a berry thing Like nondescript red berry. But yeah, nice level of roast. Keep what I said about the chocolate. But now add in a little bit of what you just consider like a um like an eighty percent cacao dark chocolate bar. So you're kind of getting a little bit more uh, closer to how you think. I shouldn't assume, but how most people think chocolate is. Anyway, it smells fantastic. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. I don't think I've ever cheers coffee before. Okay, yeah, so I steeped it long enough. That was good. All right. <clears throat> so it, for me, it does follow the aroma pretty well. That chocolate, it, it's, you know, because it is water-based, it's like this watery chocolatey like um kind of like what i would imagine if you were making hot chocolate with water you know how, like they have those packets and, and it says you can just add water but like you know take out the sugar i assume that has some sort of like dried lactose or something like take that out so you're like yeah you just have you know cocoa powder and water so just like the aroma it's very much that kind of a chocolatey note not a full-on like fudgy brownie chocolate but Again, like the aroma, you say that, you experience that, but then there is just a little bit of how you think chocolate is, uh, actual chocolate, not like one of the ingredients of chocolate that gives it the, you know, the predominant chocolate note. Anyway, um, the cinnamon, subtle, and again, don't know where it's coming from, but definitely there. There's, it's a nice balance of a little bit of sweetness with the, like, the acidity and again, this is coffee with nothing added. So it's not like some like sugary sweet thing. Like I'm talking like very specific, you know, in, in the coffee bean level of sweetness. So it's not very sweet. Um, but yeah, a little bit of acidity as well. I 
I'm not getting as much of the berry thing that I got in the aroma. Yeah, swap that out for a little, again, it, it's very subtle, the, um, like, orange zest. Like, like very subtle. Now, the barrel aging part of this, and again, I don't know about the cinnamon. I was talking to Sean, he was super excited, you know, I tried it, he didn't get himself this one, so uh, we were kind of comparing notes, he's had the Blanton's one, and... I didn't know what he his thoughts were on that. He's just like, so what you think? I think he specifically asked what you think about barrel. The did the barrel come through? It was something like that. It was how he phrased it. And I'm like, I get a sudden. Uh, I get actually not even sudden. I get I get some nice oakness for sure in this. And then, way towards the finish, you get this whisper of alcohol, and. It's very, for me, the, going back to the oak for a moment, it's very reminiscent of, this was years ago, a friend of mine, his wife, uh, at her job, it was like part of their bonus or something, they got a wine tasting kit, and they got the little bottles or vials of um, um, different essences of things you can note while drinking wine. So we had this awesome evening where we did those with some wine, and um, the, the way the oak is, is... It, it, it just how smell, taste can just send you to a memory. It just brings me back to that night and doing that like essence um, because it is it's there, but it's like whispers of it, you know. Same thing with the alcohol. There's just like some whispers of it, and then besides the oak, there's just like this generic woodiness. But you can get that in coffee that hasn't been barrel aged, so I don't think that's coming necessarily from the barrel aging part of it. But um, it does add like these, I, really it's the best descriptor I can think of is just these whispers, you know, not predominant flavors, but unmistakably they're um, almost like, like, like a, I'm going to keep whispers, but like, like a ghost or something. Like it's just kind of, like you can kind of see it, you know, it's like a little transparent, like in a movie or whatever. It's kind of like that, like it's there. But it's kind of transparent, like like you can, I don't know, I don't know a better way to, because to me, whisper makes a lot of sense, but I don't know if that makes sense to everyone who's watching this. So like, you pass through it, so you're experiencing it, but it's not like a wall that you would walk into. It'd be like, like you're not getting hit over the head, like, whoa, this is chocolate. You know, like, you're getting like this, um, like, like a mist shower. Like, you can walk through it, and it's not dumping water on you. It's just a misty shower. It's like a mist of the oak. It's a mist of the alcohol on your way to gain, like, the concrete chocolate, that little citrus, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's really nice. It's a really nice cup of coffee. Uh, I'm definitely excited to uh, actually I'll probably make a little bit more and have it with a cinnamon roll. Um, have you had this coffee before? I almost said beer. Uh, have you had any other ones? Have you had any other dark, dark matter? Have you had any other kinds of coffee aged in barrels, bourbon barrels, or other? Anything related. Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews at uh, both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, drink your coffee. Cheers, everyone.